Hi, welcome to Adventure Lunch. I'm Jared Kingery. And I'm Cyber Bob. Where do we go this week? Habanero Grill. Habanero's Grill. Sorry, we were, we were saying it wrong amongst ourselves. It's habanero's as in it's the possessive of habanero. What did I just say? Habanero. And what did you say? Habanero's. See, I don't hear it. Is there a difference? There's an apostrophe S. It's possessive of habanero. That's what I thought. Yeah, but you said habanero. Z. Well, now, anyway, Habanero's Grill. This is uh, the location at uh, 13444 West Avenue. They have another location up on the rim that's hiring right now. Are they hiring? I yes. didn't know that. This is, yeah, this is on the rim. This is, if you don't know the area, it's right uh, across the street from the Embassy Oaks Theater. There's a in, Fast Eddie's pool thing back in, there. In front of Laser Quest. Laser Quest, and there's that great breakfast place, Magnolia, Magnolia Pancake, Pancake House, House, right over there. So you, it's kind of tucked back in there. It's, it's really shady back there under a lot of trees. Uh, not, not as in really shady, not like shady. Right. Like it's literal shade. Like it's a, it's the umbra of an eclipse. So here's the inside, right it's, here. It's very, it, it's very Austin-y, if I, if, if I'm allowed to say that. It looks like a restaurant you'd step into in Austin. Austin-y. It's very Austin-y. Wow. Uh, and they have a lot of specials. Uh, right when you walk in, there's a huge board on the wall, the daily specials. We went on Monday. The, the special of the day is on Mondays, let's see, is a dollar off nachos. And they also have a, a special running all the time now that is a, a pulled pork burrito that we'll yeah, talk about I, a little later. I really, well, okay, we're going to talk about it later. Okay. Talk about it later. Right. And then you also have the, the regular menu right here that, uh, very beautiful. Okay, all you right. may be familiar with the concept of a burrito place by way of Chipotle. Or, or Freebirds. Or Freebirds. Right. Where you kind of build your own burrito. You basically go along the line and you tell them what they want. This has burritos already pr planned out for you, which is something you prefer. I actually, because I don't know what I like. Right. I never know what I like. It changes from day to day, I've noticed. You, you can like one thing and really not like <laughs> it the next day. But I, 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 I'm not an expert at all the different flavor co combinations, so I, I like it when someone says, hey, this is really good, you should try this, and it, it makes me feel good. Now, the one thing they do, though, is they have fresh tortillas. They make them all the time, right? They make fresh tortillas. You walk up to the line. We have some video of it, if, uh, if Yoli could roll that. This is the actual process. You're watching the tortilla being made in front of you. See that he's got the dough ball. He throws it in the, I guess, what do you call that? A press? You got, that was yours. You got wheat? I got wheat. Wheat? It's healthier. Oh, you cover it when you cover it. It counters. It cancels, <laughs> I didn't realize you're health, health. It cancels nut. out the queso. <laughs> it cancels out the queso. Anyway, I ordered the cheesy beef burrito, yes. which is one of their best sellers. Uh, and full disclosure, I've had this before and I enjoyed it. I had it before with, with Fritos on it when they called it the Cruncherito. And you said you really like that. Really now, like that there's all kinds of other ingredients they'll put on there for you. They got all kinds of different kinds of cheese and while, uh, while they while they have a select menu, you can add stuff to it. Right. You don't. Right. You're not bound by the menu. So you can make all kinds of different stuff. And you had never actually had a burrito well, before I, like I, this. Well, I've had I've had a burrito before, but it's been years since I've eaten it. I'm just haven't. Uh, full disclosure, I've never been a big burrito fan. So uh, we it's went true. there and. Uh, I was wondering as we were making it, because it's so huge, how am I going to eat it's this It's huge. Thing? They wrap it in foil. Well, they have instructions on the wall here. The secret to eating our burritos successfully. And it's, you, you have to keep your pinky up, and they wrap it in foil, and you peel as you go. So you have a, you have a giant burrito, uh, as you'll see here. Uh, you can come back to, to, out to us. We've got, this, is, this was your burrito, and this was the pepperito. Yeah. I guess and, you should be holding that. Yes. And, and, uh, here you go. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, uh, this was uh, uh, the, the ingredients on the pepperito. Um, uh, it actually was uh, selected by Texas Monthly as one of their favorites. But oh, was the, it really? Yeah, they have. Uh, uh, it's actually, it's actually vegetarian. Believe you it or not. You didn't know that until I pointed out to you later that you ordered the veggie. I know. Like it, a big old liberal. And then I felt like I was in Austin. Yeah. Oh, there big. you go. <laughs> there was did a guy ride by on a really tall bicycle followed by another guy on a unicycle. That's Portland. No, this was Austin. Like the a salon. pedicab. Did you take a pedicab somewhere? That's also. That's also Portland. Well, it's also Houston. Austin. Uh, cilantro, cilantro on rice, uh, black beans, a mix, a creamy mixture of roasted peppers, grilled onions, and potatoes, and then you got lettuce, tomato, and then uh, you put whatever sauce all you want on it. And they had a really, really good. It was like a, a, a hot and sweet uh, well, sauce. I think that we got I tried. a picture of that later on. It was the, really very good in the lineup here. I had, as I said before, the cheesy beef. This is my burrito uh, with my wheat tortilla, which was delicious. That I love, and there's my finger. Uh, and this has... It's huge, is, though. It is it's huge. They're both huge. huge. This has... Uh, it's great for the cheese lover, they say. It has Spanish rice, refried beans, spicy ground beef, white queso, cheddar cheese, jack cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and salsa. But, of course, I don't get the salsa, so I replaced it with some sour cream. 
because you don't want and to hurt your sour cream, cream and some potatoes. <laughs> um, anyway. They're huge, though. It's a lot of food. It's, it's a very big burrito, probably bigger than the other two big uh, burrito chains really? in town. Yeah, because you're, you're pretty much an expert I'm a, at burritos, I'm a, aren't you? I'm a big fan of Freebirds. Yeah. I like Chipotle every now and then. It's a little different style. Uh, our waiter, uh, not waiter, the, the manager of the restaurant um, right here, this is Red. Or Louis C.K., if you or prefer. Or Jimmy Carter. His name is James Carter, but nobody calls him James Carter. Because <laughs> he so hates So we that. called him Jimmy Carter, and he goes by Red. What a and great I guy. He, I think he looks like, right, I think he looks like Louis C.K., and I didn't tell him that because you thought it might be kind of offensive well, to tell him he I looks like a famous comedian. Yeah, but Louis C.K. isn't exactly a, uh, a handsome man. Anyway, he, I, I, he, anyway, he calls himself Red. Uh, really nice guy, and I, really, I, really think, and I don't think he cares if you he's compare an, him to He's an to expert, expert on the place. And he has some opinions on strong opinions. Strong opinions on Freebird and Freebirds and Chipotle. We got some video of that. And you can argue all you want with with Freebirds and Chipotle, but when the when they a they steam their tortilla and bread and water just don't mix very well. And if the worst thing you the, the worst ingredient in that, that you serve the customer is the first thing that touches their tongue, what does that have to say about the food you're producing? <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're very proud of. Them. Are you singing? Carry on my Carry wayward son. My way. You, you know we're not in was. Austin because they're playing Kansas. <laughs> they wouldn't be playing Kansas in Austin. I just be, noticed that song was playing. It, it, the, the music was in there. Yeah. I, did you realize that? I, yeah. Kansas was playing. Go ahead. We have to, we have to pay Kansas money now. <laughs> it's their first. Anyway. <laughs> their first royalty check in years. <laughs> he's very proud of the, of the tortillas, as they well should be. Because the tortillas are fantastic, I, I think. Tell me what you thought. Now, uh, let's, let's talk about the taste of the tortilla. Uh, you really like, and, and how you compare those to uh, the other places? It is it is better than Freebirds. Better than Freebirds, and you're a big Freebird. I I'm think a, there's a Freebird sticker on your car, isn't there? Not anymore. It kind of peeled off. There's now a, is it's, a, a bleak attack. There's a blink blink a blink attack. Blink attack. What is it? Blip attack. I think. Blip blip attack. Blip attack sticker. Blip attack sticker on the car. No, uh, it is better because, like he said, Freebirds will steam the tortillas first. That's uh, bad, right? Who wants a steam tortilla? Do you want a steam tortilla? I want a, you want a no. freshly. Do you freshly, want a tortilla they make in front of your yeah. face? And yeah. it, it's it's really great that they make it yeah. right there. And that that really surprised me the first time I went. And then what's the other place? Chipotle. Chipotle. But that's, Chipotle? that's like eating at the McDonald's of is burrito it? chains. Yeah. Okay. I think so McDonald's this is this. If you want a good burrito, this is the place in town to go, right? What did you think of your pepperito? Well, um, I'm not a big burrito fan in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was okay. I think you, um, I think but you, I really, I'm a meat guy, and I didn't realize I ordered something. And and and, and I I I, uh, I always go for the strangest thing on the menu. Right. You know, I always do that. And so they said this is uh, this is probably the most out there. You, you should give it a try. They described it as a fondue wrapped, right. fondue wrapped in a tortilla. Uh, yeah. Uh, and so I was like, oh, a fondue. I like fondue. Because you're from the '70s, right? <laughs> is that what fondue you was? Were, huge. You were wearing your turtleneck and you were wearing your turtleneck and houndstooth coat with was, the leather pants. Is, is that elbows. a big thing from the '70s? Fondue. I guess I'm not that old. You're you were the you were in, and and I Red were talking. I was, you and I was Red in, were talking Jimmy Carter. And I was when like, I was when I was in the Air Force, we used to do fondue a lot. We used to uh, like all <laughs> all day just fondue all day long watching football. All you then, had all day fondue parties in the Air Force. As 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 we drank and watched football, yes. Okay. Uh, moving on. It's part of the military this tradition. Is, <laughs> I don't want to know. I probably don't want to know, do I? No, this it's is, uh, not bad. Th this was the chips and queso we had also good at, at Red's recommendation. Meat and pork and stuff on the fondue. It was really stop. good. Stop. Please stop. It wasn't cheese stop. or chocolate or anything. I don't want to know about the pork fondue in the Air Force. <laughs> um, anyway, we had the chips and queso. You and make these it sound so bad. <laughs> you started it. These are very, very light chips. Ruining all my Air Force memories. Mary, would you talk about the chips, please? We're Sorry. trying to talk about the chips. The chips were thin. And I, I enjoyed and that. And crispy. And like what did you think of the queso? Because I big... thought it had a good taste. I'm, a, I'm kind of a snob when it comes to queso. I know. And this had, it had, uh, first of all, it, I, we say one of the signs of good queso is the, the film that the develops skin. on it. And it had can a good we take skin. That, can we take that still again? You can see the skin. We can't sit on these they monitors because it's not. It, yeah, no, no, no. You, but in the widescreen, they can see it. Okay. We're looking at... We're looking at four by three monitors because it's the Stone at. Ages out here. But uh, yeah, it, and it was good, and There's it had a, a unique. It, it definitely wasn't just you know, uh, it's not just melted some cheese, junky cheese thrown in and melted. Yeah, it had some flavor and to they it. They also had it. a they also had a, a kind of interesting selection of salsas. Again, I didn't try it. Gosh, I could. I wish I could remember the name of the one I had. It was like it was like uh, it was something honey sweet. Yeah, peppery. it had a little it had a little bit of uh, spice in it, but it was also very sweet. It was nice. I it liked had honey it a lot. in it. I remember Red saying it had honey in it. Oh yeah. You know how about this? Okay. Last up, and 
well, a thing you can't get at Chipotle or Freebirds. Well, we couldn't either. But you, they have margaritas. <laughs> And they have, this is the... Oh, they don't have those at the other two? No, they have beer and stuff. Oh. This is the 128-ounce margarita. It's $30. 128 ounces. Look at that. Whoa. That's there has two, to be at least... That's a gallon. That's a one gallon. There's got to be three of you to, to, to get it, or they can't legally sell it to you. Right, because it's a gallon of margarita. And if you go on their website, there's some pictures of people uh, partaking in the, in the margarita. Right. The anyway. Goliath. Anyway, it was the middle of the day. That's huge, it was right? middle of the day. It was only two of us. We couldn't get a margarita. Wouldn't that be a little weird for you and I to share a margarita? Yes. Almost okay. as weird as fondueing all day fondueing long. Fondueing with pork <laughs> in the Air Force. Anyway, bottom line, what'd you think of, of excuse me, of, uh, I'm uh, gonna, of Habanero's Grill? Habanero's. Habanero's Grill. Uh, I'm going to go back and, mm -hmm. and try uh, especially that pulled pork because we had a little taste of the pulled pork and that right. was excellent. Right. I mean, that little taste of, uh, of pulled pork that I had was uh, enough to jettison the, the restaurant overall review to a 7.5. 7.5. You are a huge pork fan. It's and becoming true that, uh, yeah. You, you, you enjoy the pork more than... Or goat sometimes, too. M pork and goat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And what did you think? I, I liked it a lot. Uh, I don't know. Red talked about a lot of people turning in their Freebirds Fanatics cards, uh, a card that I do have in my pocket right now. And that's, and that's, and, and just, and, and for, for the fanatics, the non-fanatics, that's the kind of deal where you go there and each time you get a little punch thing? Yeah, I believe, I believe they do it too. I saw it in one of the pictures. They do, they do. Uh, they do have a sort of a, a loyalty program. Um, I don't, I don't know that, that one is, is markedly better than the other. They each have their strengths. They each have their, their weaknesses. What's the strength of Freebirds? I think they have a, a little better selection of, uh, of, of things to put together, ah. uh, but I do really enjoy the tortillas at um, Habanero's, Habanero's Grill, yeah. and I love the specials they come up with, especially the Crunchurito that I had at the Rim location, and they, they do a little more combo specials during the week. And you um, know what? You're not going to get the personality. Freebirds right. is not going to be able to match the personality of a Habanero's. They're what? not going to be able to match the red. You know, with a guy, they're not going to have a guy like Red who will come right. over to your table, sit down, and tell you about the last 15 years of the restaurant. Right. And uh, how he wants to put a garden on the roof and all kinds of all kinds yeah. of crazy schemes like that. Yeah. And they're really proud of the freshness here. Um, it's, it's as they not, should be. It's not quite as uh, not quite on the scale we saw last week with with Four Kings. But oh, they, by the way, I met the people who run the. Uh, well, sorry. Go you ahead. met the people that run the... the, the Farm the market, yeah. yeah. You know, if we, we can go back and insert in that last week's show, if you like, <laughs> where it's actually relevant. i got to stay on topic. Bottom line, I give this an, I'm giving this an 8. Um, wow. I enjoy it quite a bit. You know, that's I, all, that means a lot coming from you because you're not just like ordinary burrito guy. I mean, you probably eat at least a, a, a burrito or two a week, right? I don't know if it's that much. Do you but, eat, how often do you uh, go get a burrito? Do depends. you have a card, for God's sake? Well, yeah, because you get free burritos with it. Well, who has a card? Who does that? And you have a card, don't I you? I have no cards. You I never no get cards, those things. Ever. I never get those things. You don't have things. any cards whatsoever from anywhere. Zero. I okay. never do those things. Well, yeah, probably maybe once every two weeks They're I'll have one. They're pretty good. Once every two weeks I'll have one. <laughs> and, uh, and I wish there were more locations for Habanero's Grill. I wish there were one closer to my house. Because the rim is sort of close. This one's not close at all. That's nice though when you go to the movies, you said, right? You like to go over there. We like to go the there. Uh, my girlfriend and I like to go before we go uh, to a movie at the Palladium. Uh, they usually have a nice special Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I think Tuesdays is, uh, what is it? Uh, we have that here. I don't know. Taco they Tuesday. They have a special. They have a special. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's a big selling point to me is the specials. Hey, you know what I'm really looking forward to? What's that? Next week's Adventure Lunch. Next week's Adventure Lunch. Why is that? Because, well, I'm not going to be there. That's why you're looking forward to it. That's why. <laughs> I should say that the other people are looking forward to it. We've, I'm, I'm, I might go with you guys. We're, uh, Steve, right? Was that his name? Steve? Mark, you're putting me on the spot. Brennan, I don't know what, Te what uh, uh, one of the, uh, a, teacher. a local teacher will, will, has, has emailed and asked to have adventure lunch with us. He wants. He to picked the spot. Let's let's not let's not say we're what not going to reveal the spot because we don't want to. I can't remember. The paparazzi I, also, there. I can't remember what the paparazzi there. But uh, <laughs> the paparazzi is killing us these days. <laughs> Those poppers. <laughs> Actually, we take people. We're taking more pictures than anybody else is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't, uh, we're yeah. We're, it's our first guest adventure luncher. Right, and then adventure so next luncher? week he'll actually lunch be in my chair. Right. And I'll, and I'll be at my son's wedding. Your son's wedding? My son is getting married. Next wow. Week. How old is your son? He's like 30. No, he, 26. 26? Yeah. That, makes, that means you're old enough to be my dad. There we go. Mm, the same and what, a good, what a good note to end it on. Hey, <laughs> if you want to join us like Steve is joining us next week, we're calling him Steve now. You can email me, you can email me at jaredkingery at wiitv.com, or you can email Bob at... Bob Gambert. Or CyberBob 
At WOAI-TV. Doesn't any email that doesn't go to specifically somebody here? I think I actually get all junk mail comes to me. (laughs) Anyway, so if you want to join us, let us know. If you've got a suggestion for us, let us know that too. Uh, If you want to go as Bob's plus one to his son's wedding, uh, don't let him know. No one's going. We're we're driving to Georgia, and the car is full. Mm -hmm. All right. Because my wife doesn't fly. Your wife doesn't fly? She refuses to fly. Wait, didn't you meet your wife in the Air Force? I did, which is How did that work? strange. But she she will not fly anywhere and she's going Was she so. part of the ground team on the Air Force? She did not she was not a pilot. Okay. She was a weather a weather person. But like that doesn't me. being in the Air Force doesn't involve flight. Not at everyone all. this is going to be crazy, but not everyone in the Air Force is a pilot. I didn't say a pilot, but they have to fly somewhere, right? If you're not a, if you if you fly and you're not a, you're not a pilot, what are you? A passenger? Ah. What? <laughs> Did we solve a mystery you here? Always, anyway, I anyway. give you the hard questions and you knock them out. Anyway, <laughs> that's all the time we have for this week. Make sure your lunch is an adventure. Right? Is that how it goes? Make it, make it an adventurous lunch. Make an adventurous lunch. Bye.